Hey gang, today we're going to talk about using triads in your solos, how to make them more memorable, and how to simplify them using triads. Now I know everybody and his brother does a triad video. This one's going to be different. We're going to apply it to the fantastic solo that Mick Ronson does in Suffragette City. Yes, I know it's an easy solo, but man, is it ever memorable. It's just a great solo. So we're going to do that one, and we'll explain it all. At the end of the video, you want to make sure you stick around to the end because at the end I'm going to channel another famous guitar player over that same chord progression. You can tell me if I nailed it or not and what you think. Whether you're new to the channel or a veteran viewer, click the like button, subscribe, and click that bell. Hey, and while you're at it, why don't you check out in the description of the video, I've got a link to my guitar school where you can get lots of free tab, backing tracks, and lots of other stuff. So you can check that out in the video where it says get tabs. Let's get going. First I'll do a demo of what Mick Ronson played or similar to what he played on Suffragette City and then I'll break it down show you how the triads fit in. Don't forget at the end I'm going to channel that other famous guitar player so you want to stick around to the end. Right, certainly a memorable solo, no doubt. Not too many notes, but you can remember the whole thing. Must be a pretty darn good solo. All right, so let's take a look at the approach, starting with the chords. I'm just going to name out the chords as I get to them, all right? These are all power chords. A, F, G, A. F, G, A. Now D and F, G, A. Now if you're like most guitarists, myself included, you start thinking, hey, what scale should I use over these chords? The inclination is going to be, and the thing that makes the most sense to me, is because A is the chord around which everything is revolving. It's kind of home base. It starts and ends in A and goes back to A a bunch of times. So why don't we try our favorites, the old A minor pentatonic or the A major pentatonic. So those are the two go-tos. If you do that, you'll find that some of, the, some of the notes don't sound good over the chord changes. So one way to handle that is to simply pick a parent scale and then play over those chord changes where it doesn't sound so good, play notes from a triad. I'm going to show you what, how, or how I think Mick did it. Now, I have no idea whether Mick was thinking this or not, but this is one way to look at it. He picked a parent scale of A major pentatonic. Okay? And then, over the chords that didn't make a lot of sense or didn't work so well, he just played notes from the triad. namely the F and the G. And by the way, you can always play notes in a triad or chord tones, as they're often called, anytime you want and they're gonna sound good. All right, so let's take a look at that first line in the solo, the most memorable, I think. And then that's repeated again, or something very close to it. That first line comes right out of a, that's a classic bend out of that major pentatonic. Now we can also think as bending to the third of the A chord. And that's another triad we've got there. But let's just think, hey, I'm going to pick the A major pentatonic as my parent scale. And then when I come to these F and the G, I'm just going to play triads, or I'm going to play something from the triads. All right, so he does that. And then he does this. Now the savvy among you might be saying, hey man, those, hey man, <laughs> those are just the uh, triad, I'm sorry, those are just sixths, and so they are. But you can think of them at six as part of major triads. Let me show you. Let's just confine ourselves just for today to the top three strings, the G string, the B string, and the high E string. 
for any chord, for an F, for a G, for an A, but we're just going to focus on F and G, there's only three shapes. There's the shape where we have the root on the top, there's the shape where we have the root on the second string, and the shape where we have the root on the third string. Let's take a look at those shapes really quickly. Here's the first one. There's the F on the top. This is an F triad. F on the top there. And you can see it's part of this big bar chord. So you're just playing the top three strings. So there's the root on the high E string. Now we've got to find one on the B string. There it is. There's our triad. You can think of this as just taking the D shape and moving up till we have the second string is on an F. There it is. And we've got one more, the root on the third string. We don't use it in this solo, but if you search, you will find this. There's the root on the third string, there's an F. And this is part of this chord right here, which looks a lot like an open A. Right? If we move that open A where the third string is an F instead of an A, we get our third triad. You play it on the first three strings, you get this. So there's the triads. Let's see what Mick did. Okay, so now we're ready to examine that first line. It's really pretty simple, but... This right here is part of that, right? And then that's part of this. That's the F triad, that's the G triad. So we're just playing the bottom note and the top note. If you think in those triads, and you can find them quickly, all you really have to do is find that root and then know that shape. Then you can play a solo like this, lickety splits, pretty easy. The rest of it is really just A major pentatonic, yeah, let's go over that. So he does this. So that's over the A to the B. A he plays major pentatonic. And over the B, he just plays the B note. Over the D, playing the major pentatonic. All right, well, now I'm going to use that sort of idea I'm going to apply it to using the minor pentatonic over that same chord progression. And this time I'm going to channel Elliot Easton and try and do a solo in his style. Again, starting out with a minor pentatonic and using lots and lots of triad sort of ideas. All right, gang. Well, there you go. How to solo using triads instead of just trying to figure out, hey, what scale fits over each and every chord and part of the progression. Sometimes when a chord just doesn't fit, play the triad. All right. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you enjoyed the application to Mick Ronson. Hope you enjoyed the channeling of Elliot Easton as well. Let me know what you thought, and we'll see you on down the road.